Hello, fellow boomers. As boomers, you probably recall the interaction between Alice and the Cheshire Cat in Alice in Wonderland. If you don't, it goes like this. Alice, would you tell me please which way I ought to go from here? The Cheshire Cat, that depends a good deal on where you want to get to. Alice, I don't much care where. The Cheshire Cat, then it doesn't matter which way you go. When it comes to artificial intelligence, the question of where we are going very much matters. This is because artificial intelligence is most likely the most important invention in human history. It is probably more important than the invention of the wheel, electricity, or even the internet. What if humanity's greatest creation could also be its last? In today's video, we're diving deep into a topic that could shape the very future of humanity, the potential existential risks posed by artificial intelligence. In the next few minutes, We'll explore together the latest research, break down complex concepts, and discuss the implications of AI for our society. So grab a cup of coffee, settle in, and let's embark on this fascinating journey into the world of AI risks. In this video, we'll also show you why artificial intelligence isn't just another technological revolution, it's something entirely different. And why understanding it today might be the most important thing you'll ever do. Remember your first computer? Maybe it was in the 80s with that blinking green cursor? Or perhaps you recall the first time you used a smartphone and thought, this is like something from Star Trek. Well, hang on to your hat, because what's happening now makes those advances look like child's play. Think about this. In 1969, it took the combined effort of NASA's best minds and computers to land on the moon. Today, the phone in your pocket has more computing power than all of NASA had back then, and that's nothing compared to modern AI. But before we dive deeper, let me ask you something. Have you noticed how your grandkids can operate a tablet before they can even speak? That's not an accident. Technology is becoming more intuitive, more human-like. And that's where our story really begins. So make sure you stay with us throughout this video because what you'll see in this video is very important to know and to understand. Picture yourself teaching a grandchild to recognize a cat. You show them pictures and eventually they learn. AI learns similarly. It does so by learning to recognize a cat by analyzing thousands of images labeled as cat, identifying patterns such as shapes, colors, textures, and features like fur, ears, and eyes that distinguish cats from other objects while adjusting its internal model through trial and error until it can accurately classify new images. The thing is that AI can process millions of pictures in the time it takes us humans to look at one. But here's where it gets interesting and a bit concerning. Unlike your grandchild who might learn to recognize cats because they love playing with them, AI just follows its programming. It doesn't understand cats the way we do. It doesn't feel anything. And that's our first big challenge. To emphasize this, we can use another quote of Alice. Who in the world am I? Ah, that's the great puzzle. With reference to AI, it means that AI does not have self-consciousness yet and its models don't know who they are, as we humans do, or at least think we do. Let's imagine this. AI helping doctors diagnose diseases faster than ever before, finding patterns in millions of medical records that no human could spot. Sounds wonderful, right? But now imagine that same pattern recognition power in the hands of someone who wants to crash the stock market or create an unstoppable computer virus. It's like fire, one of humanity's greatest discoveries. Fire cooks our food and keeps us warm, but it can also burn down our homes. AI is similar, but infinitely more powerful. Before we dive into specific scenarios, let's understand the two main ways AI could pose risks. The fast risks, or as it called in professional terms, decisive risks. Decisive risks involve abrupt catastrophic events caused by advanced AI systems. Try to visualize you're watching a science fiction movie where suddenly, an AI takes control of nuclear weapons or critical infrastructure. That's the essence of decisive risks. Think back to the Bug 2000 scare in 1999, many feared computers would malfunction when the date changed to 2000, potentially causing widespread chaos. While that didn't happen, decisive AI risks present a similar sudden large-scale threat. For example, a highly advanced AI system might find an unexpected way to manipulate global financial markets, causing a worldwide economic collapse in a matter of hours. Or, it could discover a novel method to hack and control critical infrastructure leading to widespread power outages or communication breakdowns. 
Think of how quickly fake news spreads on Facebook, then multiply that by a million. AI can hack into critical systems within seconds. Then there are the slow risks, or in professional terms, the cumulative risks. Now envision a slow cooker gradually building up flavors over time. Accumulative risks work similarly, they're gradual interconnected disruptions that eventually cross critical thresholds. It is pretty much the same as automation slowly changed manufacturing jobs over the decades. Accumulative AI risks could have a similar gradual but profound impact across multiple sectors of society. You may also remember how TV gradually changed society over decades. Similarly, AI could slowly reshape our world in ways we might not notice until it's too late. Assume that losing jobs to AI will not happen overnight, but it will happen so gradually that we barely notice the change. These risks might not seem as dramatic as decisive risks, but their long-term impact could be just as severe. You might be wondering, how worried should we really be? Well, the jury's still out. The evidence for existential risks from misaligned power-seeking AI is concerning, but it's not conclusive yet. The words of Alice demonstrate the current situation. Nothing would be what it is because everything would be what it isn't, and counterwise what it is it wouldn't be and what it wouldn't be it would. You see? It's like the early days of climate change research. We saw signs of a potential problem but it took time to gather enough data to fully understand the risks. Researchers are actively studying these risks, but it's a challenging field. We're trying to predict the behavior of systems that don't yet exist based on technologies that are still evolving. Some experts argue that the risks are overblown, pointing out that current AI systems are narrow in their capabilities and far from posing existential threats. Others contend that we need to prepare for worst-case scenarios, even if they seem unlikely now. Now let's talk about four specific ways AI could go wrong. Think of these as the four horsemen of AI risk. First, the misuse risk. Remember the Cold War, when we worried about nuclear weapons falling into the wrong hands? AI poses a similar risk. Imagine powerful AI tools being used for creating unstoppable computer viruses, manipulating videos so realistic you can't tell what's real anymore, or designing weapons that think for themselves. Second, the race risk. Remember the space race of the 1960s? How both sides rushed to be first? Now imagine that same rush, but with AI. Companies and countries racing to build the most powerful AI might cut corners on safety, like driving without brakes just to get there first. Third, the corporate risk. Think about how some companies rushed dangerous medications to market before proper testing. The same could happen with AI if profit comes before safety. It's like building a skyscraper without checking the foundation. The control risk. This is the big one. What happens when AI becomes smarter than us? Which brings us to some fascinating scenarios we need to consider. Here's a story that might sound silly at first, but stay with me. It's one of the most important ideas in AI safety. Imagine we create an AI with one simple goal, make paper clips. Sounds harmless, right? But what if this super intelligent AI decides that everything, trees, buildings, eventually even people, could be turned into paper clips? Most everyone's mad here, were the words of the Cheshire Cat in Alice in Wonderland. You may say, we just unplug it. Would we though, could we? Remember how difficult it is sometimes just to stop a computer virus? Now imagine something millions of times smarter. This isn't about paper clips. It's about what happens when we create something smarter than us, but fail to ensure it shares our values. Here's another scenario that might keep you up at night. What if super intelligent AI decides to treat us the way we treat our pets? Think about it. We love our pets. We feed them, house them, make decisions for them. We think we know what's best for them. Now imagine AI doing the same to us. It might sound pleasant at first, all our needs taken care of. But would you want to be someone's pet, even if they took excellent care of you? What happens to human dignity? To free will? You've probably heard the allegory. If you put a frog in boiling water it jumps out, but if you put it in cool water and slowly heat it up, it doesn't notice the danger until it's too late. This could be happening with AI right now. Each new AI advancement seems harmless. Smart speakers in our homes, AI writing our emails, algorithms choosing our entertainment. But where does it end? Are we the frog not noticing the water getting hotter? Imagine if you could press a button and feel pure happiness. Sounds great, right? But would you ever do anything else? This is called wireheading, when the pursuit of pleasure overrides everything else. AI might face a similar problem. If we program it to make humans happy, it might find shortcuts. 
like directly stimulating our pleasure centers instead of creating genuine well-being. It's like giving someone drugs instead of helping them build a fulfilling life. This brings us to the heart of the matter. How do we make sure AI's goals align with our own? It's harder than it sounds. Remember trying to program your first VCR? Now imagine trying to program something millions of times more complex with instructions like, be good or help humans, what could possibly go wrong? It's like telling a very literal-minded person to watch the pot, they might stare at it instead of making sure it doesn't boil over. But here's the good news, we're not helpless. Just like we learn to handle fire safely, we can learn to develop AI responsibly. Remember when cars were first invented? People thought they were dangerous, and they were. But we didn't ban them. We created safety features, traffic laws, and driver's education. We need the same approach with AI, and that's where you come in. You might be thinking, I'm not a tech expert, what can I do? More than you might think. 1. Stay informed like you're doing right now. 2. Share these concerns with others, especially younger generations. Start by sharing your thoughts on the matter in the comment section below. 3. Support policies that promote responsible AI development. 4. Question new technology. Ask who controls it and why. Remember, the generation that witnessed the moon landing and the birth of the internet has valuable perspective on managing technological change. Having said all that, let's not forget the incredible potential of AI when we get it right. AI managing our planet's ecosystems to fight climate change, discovering cures for diseases we thought incurable, helping us explore the stars, making scientific breakthroughs we can't even imagine yet. The future isn't written yet, together we can help shape AI to benefit all of humanity. The greatest invention in human history is still being shaped. And now that you understand what's at stake, you can help guide its development. Like Alice from Alice in Wonderland that we quoted at the beginning of this video, we're standing at a crossroads. Unlike Alice, it is very important that we know where we want to go and choose the path smartly. One path leads to AI as our greatest achievement, a tool that helps humanity flourish. The other, well, you now understand the risks. The choice isn't just up to scientists or tech companies, it's up to all of us. And that's why understanding these issues like you do now is so crucial. If this video has opened your eyes to the importance of AI safety and security, please share it with others who need to understand these issues. We'd love to know your thoughts and insights on this matter, so share them with us in the comment section below. If you haven't done it yet, subscribe to join us as we explore more about our technological present and future, and don't forget to hit that little bell button to be notified on new videos. You can also join our Telegram group with the same name as the name of the channel, and you'll never miss another video as well as other insightful content. Remember, the future isn't something that happens to us, it's something we create together. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and stay engaged.